if you give a fish a family. And he opens up the book. There once was a fish born on a very special day. See, there's like the little egg there is I think what it came from. The day was so special, his family gave him away. And Gillian kind of looks up, smiles, and turns the page and passes <laughs> this is it. Like a, this is like a trauma book. Uh, it gets better, it gets better. He was taken to a palace, but it didn't feel like home. Oh. Though everyone there said they loved him, he still felt alone. Oh. Like, yeah, yeah, I passed the book. I just kind of look at I, Gillian. I like the, the big fish of the palace said, you must become strong. We fish don't like people because they are always wrong. The big fish brought a target and said, you'll be family if you hit this. So the fish tried every day, but he always seemed to miss. <gasps> oh, that's, that's so, so sad. sad. It's so sad. <laughs> um, Gillian I think it gets better. Then one day, the little fish made a big mistake <laughs> and the big fish of the palace kicked him out of the lake. He does look a little shocked at Daisy. The fish was alone on the shore, sad and beached, when suddenly out of the sky, a fleshy hand reached. Look, Chip, it was you. That was you, that was you, Chip. Look, it's you, Chip. The fish saw two people with no fins or tails on a big brown floating thing, hollow with, and with sails. The fish was worried. Is this hell? Did I do a big sin? <laughs> The two laughed. No, we're pirates. This is our crew. And you're in. <laughs> you go. They saved a lot of people and committed violent crime. But because they were together, they had a real good time. They met a dude, Duke D. Dukem of Duke, and a plant with kind eyes that gave them a spook. They made a new friend. A horse from a puddle that the little boy rode, and then they became puddles. I'm sure if that's a real word, I was just really trying to work with what you guys gave me. <laughs> it's a job done. Yeah, no, yeah a thanks. For, I, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. People, I drew that one. I drew that one. They even met a gooblick who mostly said, he who. He absorbed 100 people, but then pressed undo. Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure how this even got in the. <laughs> Finn looks puzzled, but enjoying it now. Yeah, He's interested. He's like, his attention is grabbed like at this point. What the fuck? But one day, the man said, I have a confession, fish. I lied. The fish felt so betrayed and decided the man would die. <laughs> that, that wasn't even communicated, but okay. No, but it's all that rhymed. All right. I, I take it to the table. It's okay. Sure book, so sure like, book, are, we, sure are we still like, is he good? Still gonna you die. Can read the rest it's... of the book. Uh, you can read the rest of the book. <laughs> the next day, the woman's father came and had a real big frown. He said, "You are a <laughs> dumb baby loser, and you've let this family down." <laughs> I push yeah, it up to Jay, it. and I'm he just kind of like shaking the book in her face. <laughs> then the giggle kind of stops as she reads the next lines. The woman said, "You're right, Papa," and so she shot the fish. But before Damn. the fish died, it said, "Is that really your wish?" The woman said, wait, no, I want to be friends with you. The man chimed in. I'm sorry for lying. Me too. Their crew was back together and finally free. Then the fish saw another target. If he hit it, he'd be family. The fish thought of his journey, God and his friends. <laughs> the fish took one big swing and the fish Missed again. The fish looked sad, acted his things, and said, Well, I guess this is it. Finn grabs it to hold on to it. But the two stopped him and said, But you're already family. Family. Oh, shoot. The end. <laughs> <laughs>